Let me go and explain again. So we have the problem a cubed minus 64 b to the ninth, right? That's the problem we need to factor. Currently, right now, with writing this down, Wendy, we don't have a factoring form that we can do for this, right? Because you need to have this written down because this is the new stuff. Good. OK. So yeah, what's also in the right hand? Exactly. So we have a cubed minus 64b to the ninth. That's what we need to learn how to factor. If you look at this by factoring GCF, they don't have anything in common right now that we could factor out, right? The only other term we've learned when we have two terms is the difference of two squares. And this is not a difference of two squared numbers. This number is cubed, and this number is raised to the ninth. But what we want to do is see if we can write them as a cubed number minus another cubed number, then here is our factored form. All right. Rather than trying to do like the trinomial, all that kind of stuff, we actually have a formula that's going to show us what will the factored form be. So what I'm going to do is I need to say, can I write a cubed equal to an a cubed? And I, can I write 64, um, or can I write b cubed equal to 64b to the ninth? Well, to solve for a, right, we want to figure out what a and b are. I'm going to take the cube root of each side. Therefore, a equals a. Then here, I take the cube root on both sides. And I say, can 64, can I take the square, cube root of 64? Is there a number multiplied by itself three, time, or three times that gives itself 64? And yes, it's 4. So we can say b equals 4. And then the cube root of b to the ninth is going to be b to the third power. Because b to the third power multiplied by itself three times is b to the ninth. Okay, So what you guys can see is I now know what my a is and I know what my b is. So all I'm simply going to do is plug them into my formula. So I could say a cubed minus 64b to the ninth equals, what's a? a is equal to a. Minus b, what is b? 4b cubed times a squared plus a times b plus b cubed. Or I'm sorry, b squared. It's important to make sure that you put it in parentheses because a lot of students forget to put this in parentheses and they only square the b. They forget to square the 4. So make sure when you're squaring them that you put the whole uh, monomial in parentheses. So now to simplify this, I have a minus 4b cubed times a squared. This becomes plus 4ab cubed plus 16b squared. And then now that is your final factored form. OK? You guys kind of get an idea of what it did? All I did is I took a look at this and see how I can rewrite this as, a, as both cube terms. And if you can write them as cube terms, you can plug them into the formula to find the factored version. You guys have one problem on your homework like that.